And this is the VCR that I've been using. Uh, RCA VHS uh, DVD recorder combo. It has S video out. That helps a lot. Uh, so the uh, color doesn't get totally separated from the 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 luma. The chroma and the luma are, are a lot more together on this, and the the luma is a lot crisper as well. But I run this with with I, I always have the lid off of this because at any time something can happen with one of these tapes that I'm finding that I'm not finding I'm paying for, but that I've gotten at uh, the Goodwill outlet store and. You know, I continually uh, clean these. Here's a Q all these cotton swabs, uh, Q-tips that I have over here, rubbing alcohol. You know, you put, you 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 have the Q-tip with the, with the alcohol on it. You you spin this around and slowly move this around to get it. Make making sure it doesn't get caught in these little grooves here. This here is the analog audio head. And when a tape, um, when a recording does not have the hi-fi signal on it, this is the head you hear, and that's why the quality is so low. I mean, it's just like an, uh, an audio cassette, but it only is on this little tiny section of the tape, and the tape moves pretty slow. And when you go to the slow speed on the recording, man, is the quality terrible. But if you don't have the heads adjusted, it's even worse. And the adjustment for the heads on this VCR is right here. And you just keep adjusting it one way or the other until it sounds clear. It's just like adjusting focus on a camera. So this is the one that I use. Right now I'm on this, there's this movie, TV movie called Master of the Game. It's from 1984. And the, uh, the audio, once I got a little further into the tape, it actually has a hi-fi signal, so whoever it was that recorded this had a really expensive VCR at the time. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's on this one. Now, 1984 is the oldest one that I've had that's actually playable. So, anyway, um, I have this other VCR here that I will use. This is one that was in the attic. Um, I have this the lid off of this too because you just never know what kind of tape you're going to deal with. And this is the one that I use to rewind and forward tapes when I don't want to wear out the motors in this. So, and different stat, different piles of these tapes. Yes, my room is a mess. Different piles of these tapes. This one is a pile of ones that I'll be looking at again. These are ones that are going back to Goodwill. These are keepers. These are some of the ones I, from the time before that I still haven't looked through. There's this one that says Star Trek IV. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if that's close to the time it was originally made. Um, this was my best find yet at Goodwill Outlet Store, the bins. Um, 43 tapes. 43 tapes. It was just an amazing find. And I'm going to be trying to work with them to see if I can, being that I'm getting these tapes that most people throw out and most people would never take interest in, and they don't sell at the stores because most people consider them garbage, you know, I might be able to get these for less. Because right now they're still charging the same price as for the, the movies that were already movies when people bought them. So, um, so here's my... My setup. Ooh, look at the camera I only have. Do, 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 do. Look at my messy room here. Okay. So, this is the converter I use. It uh, up converts the, what is it, 360p up to 720p, but then it stretches it, you know, to, to be the 16 by 9, and I'm like, eh, I can't stand the stretch. Look, but that doesn't matter because I bring it into Adobe Premiere and change the scale width to 75%. You know, you can see this, his face looks proportional the way it normally is. Here, let's go to 100, and we'll watch him, you know, stretch vision, right? So, you know, I fix that, make that 75%, then I change the sequence settings, so the, uh, the frame size on the width 
is uh, 960. You know, say, oh, it's gonna change your previews. Yeah, yeah, go do it, go do it. And there we go. So, that's how I do that. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, this tape from 1984. We will see how that goes. Just wanted to give you a, a, a look at the way that I, that I do a lot of this stuff, so. Bananas and scrambled eggs.